yesterday I was talking about how this weather is very strange it was so cold this morning and it started to rain and now it's sunny out and it's kind of getting warm so weird I'm gonna cook roughly like three and a half to four pounds of just straight chicken breast. And then I get steak. This is tenderized steak right here. It's beef for stew, but I like having it chopped up. It's easier to throw into a pan, flip it, put like some spray butter on it. So we get the food scale real quick. Uh -huh. Just want to keep an even cook on it. Grab a plate, put it on before we weigh anything, turn on the scale, zero it out, and go. Okay, so we have 6.31, 7.7. We want seven ounces, that should be okay. So 7.14 ounces of steak right there. So this is what your final product will most likely look like. We have two containers here of straight protein. So you have a ton of chicken and a ton of steak. If you have like really heavy cravings sometimes and you want something that can kind of cure your sweet tooth, I recommend a, a Powerade Zero. Something that has like no calorie, zero calorie in it. Um, better off a gallon of water. I drink one of these every single day. Um, I wake up in the morning, as soon as I wake up, I drink a ton of water just to make me feel kind of like ready for the day. You feel like your system's all organized, you can eat some food, and it's, it's a refreshing feeling. So I highly recommend a gallon of water, and for your sweet tooth, some kind of sports drink. But it has to be low calorie. Normal Gatorade and Powerade have a lot of sugar, and surprisingly, they have a lot of carbs. They have 30 to 60 carbs per container for just a drink. I don't like to drink my calories, I don't like to have my carbs as a drink. I want to keep all my carbohydrates in my food, that way they're much more substantial. 